fail. <laughs> oh my god, this is epic. Are you kidding me? How's it feel? Everything feels okay. Do you want to just test the steering a bit? Whoa. The important thing is when you do an install just to make sure everything's working. Whoa, it's got get up and go. Oh my gosh, this is way better than I thought. <laughs> no, but for real. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's bits kind of rattling around a bit. The weird thing is because there's no body, it feels like a race car, doesn't it? I'm having a bit of a moment because Firstly, I didn't think we were going to get here. Secondly, this is months and months of work and the first time we turned the wheel in anger. Thirdly, it's just freaking cool. It is. Hey, not many people get to do what we're doing right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's got get up and go, isn't it? But remember, the team only brought it here kind of late last night. Look, there's your extension. Yep. You can see the, the, off, the, the back set of the engine, which is going to change the balance quite a lot. Thank you for sticking on some new tyres, some yeah, new boots. Yeah, new wheels plus, they've been balanced for you. Thank you. Uh, doors have been cable tied shut. I love that this is called a door. Uh, what's, this? <laughs> what's this? What's this beauty here on the front of the car? Well, the front uh, <laughs> radiators were quite loose, so I just strapped them to this. But how did you, did you make this? I broke the desk. <laughs> just like, I bent it. Go on, jump in the driver's seat. Why is mine? It just feels nice. Oh, does it? Yeah. The, the position feels nice. Oh. Wow. It's loud there. Yeah. Everyone talks about power to weight ratio. Oh. You know, a Bugatti Veyron is, has a thousand horsepower. They, they did have a thousand horsepower, but they weigh 2000 kilograms. For us, the idea is to make it as light as possible, and then we can think about how much power we want after that and what works with this package. You don't want, there's no point having 800 horsepower if the car's 1,000 kilos and it's undrivable, so you need a good balance. We're trying to build something that's very special for the road and enjoyable, not something you're going to be scared of when you put your foot down. When I started in Formula One, a Formula One car was 540 kilos. Now they're pushing 700, 750 kilos. And the driver's complaining, you know, they don't like the feel of it as much. So they're having to put loads of power behind it, loads of downforce to compensate. But those light, agile vehicles were so much fun. My seat's ready. Put it in the car. Comfort. What have you got in your seat? I have zero comfort. But I have You're a just bit in a car bucket. Cabin. It's quite snug, isn't it? It's cozy, isn't it? I know. Well, we're, we're, you know, two strapping young gentlemen, aren't we? So. Oh, come on, let's start off. Oh, you, how are you going to reach your helmet now you put a seatbelt on? Damn, I always have that issue. I oh, always forget have... that. I get oh. into the car and then normally it's passed to me. Oh my God, television's Jensen you're, Button you're like has his helmet it's passed it. Who's going to be? Oh my. Oh, yes. You know it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, first few laps, nice and easy, please. You ready? Let's do this. Oh my God. First of all, can I just say, nice touch. We got a Radford. <laughs> Even though we lost a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's working fine, brakes are working. No, lovely to just get it out there and... Uh... Jensen was obviously finding his way a bit. Steering is so responsive, which is really what, you know, why Lotus is the perfect partner, because Lotus creates race cars for the road. It feels like a race car. It's torsionally very stiff. Yeah. I mean, you, you feel the bumps on the circuit. You know, bumps on a road are bigger than, the, than on a circuit, or, well, normally. And you can feel the rear sort of, sort of hopping when you're laterally loaded. Um, and that's why we've also lengthened it, to calm that down, because normally if you hit, hit, hit one of those bumps with a very stiff, short car, it reacts and it snaps. So it's a little bit more, uh, what, well, slightly easier to drive. We'll see when we actually push it. But you're gonna jump out now, right? Uh, bring it back in one piece. I hope that people get into this car and, and enjoy it as much as, as I have done through the process and will through the rest of the process. Um, but I, I can't take all the credit, you know, in terms of the way the car feels. It's, it's decades of, of, uh, of work from the, the Lotus engineers, drivers. Um, there's so much time and effort that's gone into the, the base chassis that we are using. Um, we are adapting it to what works for us. Yes, and I'm involved with that, and, and I, I love that I'm involved with that because that's one of my big skills in, in racing. 
is developing a car. You know, I went up against Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso. And for me to beat them, it was through me putting the car in a place where it was better. I remember I drove at Spa with, with Lewis and uh, I ended up running lo um, low downforce wing. It didn't work for him. He ran high, high downforce wing. Um, and he posted the data on, on, on social media saying this is why Jensen's faster. Um, long story short, the reason why I could beat him on occasions like that is because I could think my way around a situation and make a car better, my car better than his. It's kind of interesting that you say that because there's obviously a, a passionate moment when you talk about Senna, you know, that kind of passionate spirit that's in his DNA and then there's the calculated moment when you talk about Prost and that you recognise that it took a bit of both for you. You're obviously passionate, the minute you signed yeah. the car you like changed. I, I don't have the outright skill, the natural ability, I don't have a vet and Senna, you know, and I'm, I'm fine with saying that. Um, but I worked very hard to, to get the best out of myself. And you put me in a car that works for me, I think I was unbeatable in F1. Um, but that didn't happen enough because you don't find a car that's perfect all the time for you. And that's where my weakness was. So I couldn't drive, I couldn't ring a car by its neck like a Lewis Hamilton or like a Fernando Alonso. Um, but if I could make a car li like I wanted it, I was unbeatable. So yes, for me, I would say I'm more of the Alain Prost style yeah but that's what makes you perfect for the radford project is that you're not just sat in a car and driving it like a, just a passionate car lunatic yeah. you actually you've got that but there's a science to it there's a there's a kind of a method to the madness and that influence is going to be changing you know you are physically changing the engineering of the car to make it better jack do you think you made the right choice? I don't know. I was thinking <laughs> is uh, Alan available? <laughs>